Hey here from Modern Coaching and Games. We're on to week four of our PE sessions for first and second class. Uh, today's session we're looking at some handling and some hand passing. So we're going to get started with our little warm up. We're going to introduce the football today to our warm up. We're then going to work on some of our jumping. Then we're into a couple of little handling exercises, practicing our hand passing, and then we're going to finish with a little target game to work on our hand pass. Okay, so you can start around just jogging around your area. You can jog on the spot if you want. We're going to jog for 20 seconds and you're just bouncing the ball as you're jogging. So left hand and right hand when you're bouncing. Okay. If you're moving around your room, let's try and bounce the ball every four steps. So one, two, three, four, bounce. Bounce and catch. Good. So you've got five seconds left. Keep bouncing. And the next we're going to just move on to, we're going to try and add in a little solo. So as you're moving, you can now bounce and solo, just moving around your rim. Working on left foot, working on left hand, right foot, right hand. So just moving any way at all for another five seconds. Three, two, one, and go straight into just going side to side, over and back. Bouncing with both hands again. If you want to throw in a little catch, throw and catch. That's fine. And we'll just keep working side to side. You've got around five seconds left. Get as many touches on the ball as you can. And then we're into some heel flex. So you can hold the ball. Or if you want, you can throw it from one hand to the other. Whichever you want. Flicking your heels up. Throwing the ball over and back. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so our last one then. We're just gonna get some high knees. So it's just getting knees up nice and high. Again, you can hold your ball in your hand. You can try and hit your knees off the ball, holding it out in front. Good. So keep breathing. And that's it, nice deep breaths. Got around five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so you can put your ball on the ground, and we're going to move in now to our jumping. So, week one, we were jumping off two feet and landing on two feet. On week two, we jumped off two, landed on one. On week three, we jumped off one, landed on two, and now this week we're jumping off one and landing on the same leg. Okay, so if you want to watch that again, standing on one leg, bending your knee down, jumping off the ground, and landing on the same foot. Okay, and really important when you're landing that you bend that knee that you're landing on. All right, so if a couple of practice goes, jump, land on the same foot. Okay, and like last week, with your other leg, you're trying to get it, it uh, into the air as high as you can to help you get off the ground a little bit higher. Okay, so we're gonna go for five jumps off one foot, and then we swap over, and we get into five jumps from our other foot. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. You can reset every time if you want. Or if you can hold your balance every time you land. Brilliant. That's three, four, five. Okay, and swap feet. Same thing, jump, land and reset. Get that knee up nice and high, try and get off the ground as high as you can. And you can use your arms for balance as well. That's three, we've two more. Really concentrate on landing, trying to hold your balance. Okay, well done. So that's our jumping done. You can grab your ball again. We're gonna work on a little bit of handling. So, 
You're sitting on the ground or lying on the ground. On your back, facing the roof. You've got your ball in your hand and all you're doing is throwing the ball into the air with two hands and trying to catch it with two hands. Okay, so you're gonna do this for 15 seconds. Just practice. Remember when we're trying to catch the ball, that our hands are nice and close together. Big wide fingers when you're catching. Don't have your hands too far apart or the ball will slip through and you might get hit in the head. And we don't want that to happen, okay? So hands close together, throw and catch. So always watching your hand position when you're throwing and catching, okay? So you've got 15 seconds to do it, to do as many catches as you can. Three, two, one, go. So watch me bring the fuck, I set the night light My shoes on, I get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll Kick out, kick the drum, rolling out Okay, well done. So, the next one we're going to do now, you're still lying on your back, okay, but you're just going to throw the ball a little bit out to the side, out to the front, out behind you, and you're still trying to catch the ball, okay? So just watch me. It's not too far to the side, just a little bit out that you have to reach to catch the ball, okay? A little bit behind and a little bit in front. So, working on all the different types of catches out to the side, left and right, straight up. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to do as many as you can. If you have someone to throw the ball to you, all the better. If you don't, you can just do it to yourself, okay? Three, two, one, go. I'm like a rolling stone. Sing song when I'm walking home. Jump up to the top of the prone. Ding dong, call me on my phone. Nice tea and I'll get my ping pong. This is heavy. Can't hit a baseball. I'm ready. Okay, so our last one now. You can sit up. You can still keep your heels on the ground. And now you're just throwing the ball from one hand over your body or over your legs to the other hand. And you're just trying to keep your eye on the ball as you're catching it, okay? So you can reach out, you can throw it a little bit behind you, over your shoulder, down to your toes, and you're just trying to keep the ball off the ground. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, okay? Three, two, one, go. work good stuff and our last one on this little exercise is you're gonna pick a spot directly in front of you okay so I always watch say the phone I'm gonna look at the phone the whole time but I'm still gonna throw the ball over my body and try catch it the other side but I never take my eyes off the phone okay so you have to try and guess where you think the ball is going to land and get your hands over to that position without actually looking directly at the football, okay? And if that's too easy, you can go a little bit trickier and you can try to do it with just one hand. Always looking straight ahead of you, trying to guess where you think the ball is going to land and catch it, all right? So this is our last 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. a little drink take a little break before we move on to the next thing you can just watch me as you're taking a little break I'm now going, just gonna go through the hand pass with you before we move into our little target game okay so we're nearly done so with our hand pass you're gonna need the ball 
and a wall to hand pass it off. Or you can have a partner. If you have a partner, brilliant. You can hand pass over and back to each other. Okay? But when you're hand passing, if you hand pass with your right hand, you hold the ball out in your left hand, and your left leg steps forward also. Okay? So can you look at my feet? I have one foot behind the other. Ball is in my left hand, and I strike the ball with my other hand coming from behind my body. Okay? And my eyes are always on the ball when I'm striking it. Okay? And I'm trying to strike the ball with the palm of my hand. Okay? So, we're going to go for 30 seconds. You're just practicing stepping in as you pass the ball off the wall and back to yourself. After 30 seconds, we'll stop. You swap hands, swap feet also. And same thing, you're just stepping in passing the ball off the wall for 30 seconds, okay? We're not worried about how many you can get. We're focusing just on the quality and how well you can strike the ball off your hand against the wall before we move on to our little target game. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, go. Okay, excellent. And all we're doing now is we're swapping sides. So we'll swap over to your other hand. Same thing. For 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. You can, you can, you hold me close, tell me that you can read my mind. How do you get to know how I feel inside? Because I didn't take you then. Oh, oh, baby, get out my head. Get out my head. Get out my head. There's a little bit of setting up to do in this little game. So you need three targets. So I've got just three little bottles sitting on top of three chairs. And then I've got three little markers. So you can use toys if you have cones, brilliant. But I'm just using little toys here that I have found around the house. And all I'm gonna do here is, I'm going to see how long it takes me to knock the three targets off the chairs, okay? So one will be of my right hand. So I'll go right hand, three times, trying to hit the three targets. I reset them. I go left hand, hit the three targets, reset them. And if I get all six, I move back to the second marker. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate it for you so you can see how it works. So three, two, one, off I go. So I hit the three, so I reset them. And I go from the same marker again, but now I'm using my other hand. So swap hands, try and do the same thing. Good, so I've hit the three targets again. So now I move back to the second target and it's the same game. I'm still so I'm still trying to hit the same targets six times, three off my right hand. I reset. And I go three off my left hand. And if I get all six, I move back to my last marker. Okay? Now, if I miss any, so if I shoot and miss, I just get the ball and shoot again uh, from the same target. So you don't move back if you miss. You have to hit six clean shots, three with your right, three with your left, before you move back to the next target. Okay? So you're going to pause the video now. You're gonna time yourself, see how long it takes you to do the, the whole task. Okay, so record your score, see how long it takes you to complete the challenge. Take a few days, keep practicing your hand passing and go back to the challenge and see if you can beat your time, okay? If you have anyone in the house, if you've got a brother or a sister uh, or anyone at home that you can challenge, 
can they beat your score or your time that it, that you um, that you got from your task? Okay. Well done this week. Hope you had a little bit of fun. Keep practicing at home. Keep staying safe. And we'll see you again next week.